All right, guys, we're out here where the garden is going to go. This weekend, we're going to be disking it up. There's been cattle running on it for years now. And so it's really compacted. And so we're going to disk it up, get it all ready, get the beds formed. And then after that, we uh, all we'll do is add compost as we're growing new things and building that soil. But they're going to be permanent beds. But as you can see right now, there's tallow trees growing all over the place. And they are in the way. And so we don't have any equipment or anything to get them up right now. So what I'm going to be doing is digging them up by hand. Now over here, you can see there's some bigger ones. And those will probably have to have uh, some kind of equipment uh, to be able to pull those up. But what I'm going to do is after I get the ones dug up by hand that I can do, I'm going to go to these other ones and I'm going to cut most of it with a saw. And that way there's just a stump left and then we'll use the equipment to remove those stumps. So I'm going to get over here and I'm going to get started. Uh, hopefully it ain't too windy for you guys. It is beautiful today. It's like 60 something degrees here in Louisiana. Normally it's like 80 and we got a nice breeze going on. So it's a perfect day to work out in the garden. First try, first try, but we have plenty more. So let me go get another shovel. All right, guys, we're gonna try this again. Now look, as you guys follow on this journey, I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, the ugly. And so I'm not gonna edit uh, that shovel breaking. Instead, I went and got a different shovel and we're gonna get the job done. As I was walking, getting this sharpshooter, I just had a little moment where I thought about life and you know sometimes things happen that you that's unexpected uh, things don't go to plan things don't work out but instead of giving up just press on there there's a way for you to uh, get through that situation that obstacle uh, whatever that is um, now I'm gonna be digging up trees with not only the shovel I started with but a whole different style of shovel but that doesn't mean give up that means press on and so you guys if you're in your journey or on your journey like me things are going to come up but don't let that don't get frustrated and don't let that discourage you just keep going hashtag teachable moment I'm gonna go get an axe to help on that one. All right, we have an axe now, let's get to it. We're going to tempt a big boy. This one here may be a little bit too big, but we're gonna give her a try. I'm no liar, but uh, I'm mean, giving that a try. As a young man, I might would have tried that. I got some seasoning on me now. I ain't doing it. I guess I meant to say I'm seasoned. Not that I actually have seasoning on me. I mean, I don't know. Also, standing out in the middle of a field by yourself, talking to yourself, or to you guys is who I'm talking to, but just think about the people that pass by and see me out here standing at a camera, staring at a camera, just talking to it. It's kind of weird. Now behind Big Bertha here, we got a little bitty one. I think we'll be able to get it.
All right. This one right here, it looks like a small one, but what it is is it used to, that tree must have been cut down at some point, and it's a big old stump with a whole bunch of little ones. Uh, so we'll need a machine to get that one. All right, we got most of the small tallas up. Uh, next, I'm gonna start cutting on these. I really need a real chainsaw. I got this little electric one from my neighbor, uh, but it does pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a try. All right, we have a few right here on the tree line. We're gonna leave those until we redo the fence. Whenever we redo the fence, we're gonna chop all of those down. All those other big trees you see there, they are uh, on the other side of the property. They're not on the, um, where the garden is gonna be. That is the ones that we're gonna save until we fix the fence and there are the two brush piles that we've been that's the first trees that we cut down and uh, piled those up we tried to burn them a couple times but they're still kind of dry so I mean uh, they're the wood's still wet so whenever it dries out a little better we're gonna burn those and that'll be the last place that um, we'll have something I'm not sure if we're gonna put the garden there or if we're going to use this front area right by the road as like a little parking area so if someone comes to the farm instead of driving through my mom's uh, driveway and going beside the house we'll have access right here and they'll be able to come in visit the farm things like that so we're gonna end for now and I'm gonna set you guys up and I, I'm about to I'm looking at my wrist like I got a watch on there um, it's close to time to go pick my kids up, so I'm going to go get them, bring them back here, and then we'll let them uh, give us a hand out here, putting the rest of the stuff that I um, dug up, chopped up, and cut down today on these two piles here.